Do you think it's fair to say that the Niners are more are more nervous about Trey Lance than they're letting on? Yes. And so uh, last night I talked to somebody that I know, and I know a lot of people are going to say bullshit. You don't know anybody, and that's fine. Um, but I talked to somebody that knows what he's talking about, and um, I hated to hear it because it's not what I agree with, what I was hoping to hear. But what I was told is that uh, the 49ers are more reluctant about Trey Lance. They're not as confident in Trey Lance as they are putting out there um, to the media. Uh, and that everyone loves Jimmy. Um, they're more confident in Jimmy. And that may be why they've been keeping, around, keeping him around for so long, why they value him so high, why they're demanding so much for uh, if they do trade him. They want more than what most people think he's worth. Um, so I heard that last night. I was really disappointed to hear that. Uh, this person knows what they're talking about. Um, well, so real yeah. quick. I mean, what, what's what's disheartening about this is your, your source is saying the Niners are not as confident in Trey Lance as they let on uh, publicly the media. They haven't expressed a lot of confidence. I, I, I've been saying that. I mean, they really haven't. They, they waited until like the beginning of training camp to say it's Trey Lance's team. Uh, and then really, no matter what they say, like Trent Williams will come out and say the right thing. Kyle will try, but actions speak louder than words. And as long as Jimmy Garoppolo is on the roster, that is not a vote of confidence in Trey Lance. If you want to show confidence in Trey Lance, the first thing you do is get rid of Jimmy Garoppolo. That's what the Chiefs did when they transitioned from Alex Smith to Patrick Mahomes. Alex, thanks for everything, but I think they got rid of him in G January. They didn't mess around. The Niners are messing around which leads to this yeah. isn't even speculation anymore it's not speculation this is it's clear i mean look he didn't have a great camp his his completion percentage was in the 50s and his td to int ratio was about one to one if not worse than that not ideal i mean there's excuses and, and mitigating circumstances and context but clearly they would have liked him to do a lot better and you got to have this you got to wonder if this whole team is like well let's just go back to jimmy you know, yeah. let's just go back to Jimmy, even if because, I mean, they probably think they can win a Super Bowl with Jimmy, even though they can't. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it was hard to hear because this person never tells me anything. <laughs> I ask them all the time. I've known them forever. Yeah. Um, and for for this person to tell me that uh, I was like, damn, like that, that really hit hard. And he knows what's going on. Trust me. Um, so. Yeah, hearing that the, that they're more nervous about Trey Lance than they're letting on, uh, it makes sense. And, and you know, I thought you were crazy for thinking Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be on this roster. And now I, I'm not so sure he's not going to be on this roster. I know it sounds crazy. I don't want him on the roster. Um, I don't agree with the take that I heard last night. But that's what I'm hearing. And now it's starting to make sense why he's been around. Uh, for so long, and I actually think you have a, a chance to win that bet with your dad uh, now. Um, well, Schefter is reporting the same thing. He reported yesterday that that there's a definite chance the Niners will keep Jimmy Garoppolo as a backup quarterback. I mean, just think about it. They would love to use Trey Lance like he's John Elway, but they try. They evaluated all this stuff in the offseason. I saw it. I mean, he's struggling on the on the deep in and the deep out. So what are you going to do over on the intermediate route? Like if they feel they can't call certain things, what they're going to do is go to this triple option college run game that they installed. And, you know, that's great, but there's a reason teams don't do that in the NFL. It leads to hits on the quarterback. And that'll be a last resort, but they'll do it if they have to. And if he's running the triple option and Jimmy Garoppolo is the backup quarterback, it's probably only a matter of time until Jimmy Garoppolo is playing at least for a quarter or a game or, or two. So – and, I don't know. And I know we're going to talk about it in more depth in, in regards to Jimmy and the quarterbacks and how they handle that. But, um, you know, if I'm being honest and I ask myself, are the 49ers, uh, a, do they have a stronger quarterback room with Trey Lance and Jimmy as opposed to Trey Lance and Nate Sudfeld or, or, or Purdy? The answer is yes, that it's a stronger quarterback room with Trey Lance and Jimmy, you know, regardless of who starts, obviously I'll, I think Trey Lance should start. Um, I thought he should last year, but. Jimmy Garoppolo as a backup is a better quarterback room than Purdy or Sudfeld. And we got to be honest about that. That's just the truth. Yeah, they could have got a different backup for cheaper. Um, 
But I, I do think that like they could probably renegotiate Jimmy Garoppolo's contract and, and get him to be way – I mean, you're not going to pay him $27 million to be a backup. No one would pay him. I don't think he's going to be a starter this year. But what I want to say is there's one more thing that's disheartening about the Trey Lance thing. We said that he should have started last year. He should have played last year. You learn by playing. Look at Josh Allen. You want to be Josh Allen? Josh Allen played. Mm-hmm. Well, they said, no, he's going to be Patrick Mahomes. He's going to sit for a year. He's going to learn. What He was sitting and learning from Rich Scangarello who wasn't even invested, and now Scangarello's gone. And now he's a new quarterback coach who's teaching him all kind of different stuff, different footwork, different everything. So to me, it feels like last year was a waste of time. He yeah. learned an, a, a playbook that's now different. I mean, I really feel like it was a waste of time, and that's too bad, really too bad. He definitely would have got more out of playing last year, and that's on the 49ers. So if they feel like, oh, man, he's not ready, or they're a little nervous, well, that's because you never, you've been nervous the whole time. The whole time. And you've never really committed to him. You yeah. didn't give him the offensive line. You gave him a, 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 a backup quarterback. I don't know. Right. I feel like they're complicit. If you want a quarterback to work out, like, go all in. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll probably save more for, for when we talk about the mistakes the 49ers made because this is one of the big ones that, that I want to talk about when, when we address it. But I agree 100% with what you're saying. All right, Irfan says, John Lynch said that Sermon has been one of the best players in camp. Trying to trade him. Trying to trade him. He's either trying to trade him, but the way Kyle talks about him, Kyle talks about him positively too. So it's like they're almost – they're either trying to trade him or justify their feelings. He looks exactly like the guy last year who was in the doghouse. Exactly like the same. So I don't understand. They can say what they want. I don't believe him. I don't oh, believe it. I will say that the, the last night in the preseason game, that was the hardest I've seen him run. So I think quality control is working. He hears you. He was putting it's, in some effort. It gets results. Bryant Culp says, Jimmy, week one bubble wrap. Let's go. It makes you excited, right? <laughs> On the goal line says, I don't understand these rumors, to be honest. If they wanted to start Jimmy, they could do what Green Bay is doing with love. Why are these rumors coming out now? It's because the Niners lack conviction and confidence. They want to do this. But when it's time to actually do it, it seems like they're just nervous. They've been nervous ever since they drafted this kid. Hard to explain it. Yeah, I mean, he's got 25 games under his belt. That's that's the thing is, you know, we'll talk about it more, but he's got 25 games under his belt. He's going to have ups and downs. He's going to struggle. He's going to learn. This is his rookie season. Last year could have been his rookie season. Thank you. But it's, it's this year. 